This is John Norman Stewart, and I'm going to be talking to you about a uh, painting that I did recently. This is the uh, initial drawing done with Eagle Drafting Pencils, my favorite, and then uh, mascoid all over the water lilies and places that I want to keep white, uh, especially down at the bottom where there's some really bright red flowers that I want to keep uh, a white background on. This is a land for the uh, water and the reflections uh, in the water and going from a blue to a purple and then a little uh, yellow at the top and uh, a little bit of orange that I saw uh, reflecting on the far shore. Uh, this is, I'm laying in some of the reflections and uh, they're kind of, uh, it's interesting, I'm just kind of sneaking up on it. And then uh, big dark foliage that happened to be in the background it was real obvious, so I just threw it in there. Um, now I'm putting in edges along the water lilies and uh, kind of defining where they're located. A little bit more reflections in the water in the foreground. I started putting some. Uh, Weeping willow branches coming down on the right at first and then on the left and um, gradually not much detail at all but uh, putting in some reflections of the trees, a couple of the major trunks. Here we go with uh, a little more of the same putting in a little bit of the green uh, reflect you can see in the middle of the painting in the water from the foliage that's in the background. Now we've jumped quite a bit into uh, a lot more detail. This is um, the fun part. <laughs> About ready to take off the uh, liquid masking now off of the uh, some of the leaves and the highlights and things. Now the masking is completely off and uh, I'll be able to start on the details on the lily pads. There's an awful lot of lily pads here. No frogs, but lily pads. See uh, a lot of uh, reflections of the willow tree and uh, getting into some background things and intermediate. I try to work all over the painting, not get too committed in any one area. And try to keep it loose, as loose as possible. It's always a challenge for me. I want to get tight. I always want to get tight. Anyway, uh, I have put a little bit of the foreground stuff in the closest to us. And then um, I have uh, gone back into the background and done some more things. Some of the whites in the background didn't occur in the right places that I messed off, so I had to do some uh, repair work on that by putting in some darker things over it. Uh, putting in more foliage in the background and uh, had a 
put green all over the um, water, just a light green all over the lily pads to get them started. Now I'm putting in some details. There again, not too much detail, but just enough to let the eye and the imagination fill it in. A little more of the trunks. And uh, there's my first bright red flower down at the bottom. And you'll notice that, uh, there's another one. Yeah. And you'll notice that the, um, the foreground is almost complete. There's a lot of details happening there. I put in at this point a surface reef, uh, surface thing happening on the surface of the water to give it a perspective going back into the painting. And uh, you can see it right there. Now we're coming over to look at some lily pads that have a little more detail in them. A little bit of the edges. Uh, lily pads are very soothing and relaxing, aren't they? It was nice being there on the spot where he had all of these things happening. This is a um, where I put in more flowers, uh, lilies, and uh, in different colors. We're almost finished with the painting at this point. Um, you can see though I put in a lot more detail in all the lily pads going all the way back. There's about 2,000 of them. And uh, a lot more details in the distant plants. And uh, this will give you a really good idea of the foreground plants, which I kind of worked out as I went. A lot of them are invented. But there were some of these there. This is kind of a scan over. You can see a lot more details in the reflections of the trees. And uh, we're, there's a distant tree way in the center in the background that pushes your eye way into there with a nice light. I mean, this is the actual finished painting. And. Uh, um, the colors, you'll notice the colors are a little bit more vibrant here because I did some color correcting and to match the original. This is um, a close-up. I'm going to kind of take you all over the surface of the painting just so you can see the uh, final details. Here again, they're pretty loose. Uh, it's pretty loose, but... Um, Love these willow branches. We're scanning across the lily pads and uh, added a few leaves in the water, floating on the water. They almost look like goldfish, but uh, they're not. I uh, drug some uh, shadows over the foreground lily pads where they, they actually had a shadow coming across the water in the, uh, the photo that I used. The original photo for this was not very good, so I had to recreate a lot of it in my imagination. But um, I used uh, throwaway cameras on this trip. <laughs> You can see the red popping on that flower where the white was left underneath. It helped a great deal. And we're going to get an overall look again. 
and I really appreciate you looking at this uh, demo. Keep painting.